You haven't skied much this year. Yeah, maybe four days. Total. And it's the end of February. That's not very much. No, I have a, a baby. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm working full time, so I am not exercising and I'm not skiing. So I just, I'm usually really, really strong and I don't have my usual power. And then I just, okay, I'm, uh, so I'm nervous, which I'm normally not when I'm skiing. So I'm kind of falling apart in the steeps. Um, okay. I don't even know how. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing wrong anymore. Okay. Let's remember, because it worked well for you well last year, your foot to foot. Remember foot to foot? Find that uphill foot that's becoming your new outside foot. Okay. Find that, find that soon. That's your platform and, and shape that turn. That's all I'll say for right now. But let's just think foot to foot. Okay? That's better already. Okay, let's stop, Bridget. Now it's like going to the side of the run over here. Okay, sweet. So I'd like to share with you a concept moving to the corner of the box. Okay, okay? so give me, give me your pull here. Okay, so if I make a box around your skis. Okay, this right here is the corner of the box. I want your center, your center of mass, to move to the corner of that box, okay? Kind of a linking up um, and finding some continuity between what your legs are doing and what your core is doing. As you're crossing over your skis, both legs are getting long as you push yourself forward. Kind of push yourself forward. Yeah, because I'm I'm like leading with my body to get to that corner. To get to the corner of the box? Yeah. Okay. So you propel yourself to the corner of the box from your feet, from the platform of your ski. That outside ski is the new platform. That platform is what is propelling you across while simultaneously what was your outside leg becomes shorter. The propulsion of your body, the propulsion of your movements comes from down here with the feet in the skis. So That's what propels you across. Yeah, yep. Because yep. I'm because I'm going, I'm trying to, when I'm here, and this is my new outside ski, I'm making, right. starting my turn. Yeah. What I'm doing right now is I'm leaning my shoulders over. That's right. That's instead, instead of instead of get the make the there you go and all of this becomes perpendicular. Do you see how that released your edges? Yeah. That's releasing your edges to the new turn. It's beginning in here and then from here keep rolling and you push across your skis. But then how and do this I get forward to that corner? This gets shorter and you just now you just moved across when your skis let go, but keep in mind when you do this when you're moving. Yeah. You do this when you're moving. You, that's how you go across. Okay. That you have to let go of the mountain with your skis. Your body becomes perpendicular to your skis. That's the idea, Bridget! Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's really different. That's beautiful. Your alignment and everything is better. Yeah, your alignment and everything just improved there. So I think for me, Talking about moving the body to the corner of the box just made me want to move my body to the corner of the box. Uh, yeah, fair enough. And Instead I, of when you talked about flattening the ski and releasing it. I that think was clearer I, for you. Yeah, and because I've been so nervous. Yeah. I think there's that, especially in steeps, like yeah. what I say, like, I, like to trust when you're going down a steep yeah. to like release yeah. and go. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to do hop turns all the way down but to actually link turns yeah. 
is another thing. All right, let's uh, let's let's do a few bumps here. Okay. Okay, so I want to do a garland with you, Bridget, and there's a couple ways to think about this. One, we got the corner of the box, okay? And for the garland, our center of mass moving across our skis to make our skis flat to the corner of that box. Or you can think about more of your edges and steering. Pinky toe edge moving to flat skis, okay? I'm on the uphill side of my edge. So I want to follow you with the garland. We're focusing on what will become the top of your turn. Okay. The top of your turn, okay? So that uphill foot that you're on the uphill pinky toe edge, you're making that ski flat. Okay. You're making it flat and then you're going back to that pinky toe edge and big toe edge, okay? Okay. So it's it's half of a turn. There you go. There you go. Yeah, focus on that uphill leg going flat. Notice how your center of mass moves across your skis a little bit. Let's do another one. That's nice. That's really nice. Notice that foot-to-foot -foot feeling, okay. okay? So you want to bring that, bring those into your turns right now. Not real fast. Okay. Slow enough to really have a sensation of the foot-to-foot -foot and the top of the turn. When you're rolling from the pinky toe uphill edge, you roll your ski to flat, you're perpendicular to your skis, and then you go to that big toe. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Really nice, really nice. I'd like you now to focus on a shorter radius turn with more rotary and steering. Okay. Okay? Okay. Same foot to foot, same perpendicularness. I'd like you to take, take those even slower. Okay. And a shorter radius turn, so not as much edge angle. Okay. Okay. Not as much edge angle. You're okay. gonna be standing over your skis a bit more a bit more. Okay. A, a flatter ski okay. for more steering, okay? And then take it into the bumps in a bit if you want to. Okay, and Bridget, here's the thing. For those right there, your alignment changed. You got more two-footed. I did. Yeah, Wait, you two-footed. Oh, yeah. More, you bad. you you got a little more heel pushy and two-footed. Okay. You can still have short leg, long leg, it, um, with a flatter ski. Okay. And uh, and steer and not be so edgy. You were still pretty edgy with those turns. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah. Check it out. Ready? Yeah, good. See, there's more touch there. That's a lot more touch. There we go. Skiing's about touch. I want to follow you for just some turns um, and because I want to see if I can get my turn shape to look like yours for that rotary steered turn that you might use in the box. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, I think what my 
might surprise you and what might surprise everybody is when I'm making those steered turns, I've got so much foot to foot going on. I am finding my new uphill foot so early from that platform, I have access to any and all of my skills, my rotary skills, my edging skills, but I'm total foot to foot. I find my uphill foot, whoom, I shape that turn. Find my new uphill foot with ankle flexion, whoo, shape that turn. Let's do it. Wait, 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 but you're not stomping on it. No, it's all invisible. This is why I'm telling you I'm doing it. I stomp on it. I make it invisible. <laughs> I just did a, a video about the hips. And in that video, I talked about the outside foot getting behind me. I'm doing that with my rotary too. That new outside foot, I find that platform, that foot gets a little behind me, and from there I can shape it. Okay, let's do that a little bit. Watch for that. It's a funny thing, you know, unlike golf, like if you hit a golf ball and it goes into the woods, you know you're not very good, mm -hmm. so you take a lesson. But we don't have anything quite like that for skiing. Like, you can get to the bottom fast, don't, not know how to turn, be out of balance, and yeah, and think you're really good. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot to be learned. Yeah, <laughs> there's and there's endlessly a lot to learn, which is what I didn't realize until I met you, <laughs> and would listen to all the ski conversations that people would have, and they, I, I didn't realize how how um, how much emotion and. Uh, intensity there was in, in a lot of like uh, people's discussion about about uh, the finer points of, of ski skiing. Maybe that's just me. No, no, no. It's other people. You're very chill. <laughs> I it's, am. It's the non debs That's the first time that somebody told me I was chill. <laughs> well, you're not. You're not intense about it. I mean, people get really entrenched. Where I've, I've worked with people where. They just really want you to be able to understand their way of describing. And um, in that, repeating the same thing louder doesn't work for me. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's shocking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so in the bumps, I'd like to see you kind of oversteer. Okay. Like, don't forget the final eighth of your turn. Okay. Find it. Find like the final J fifth. Turn. That, a little bit almost like a J-turn. Okay. Find it. Keep it slow. I want to see that total control at the end of your turn. Okay, before starting that new turn, all right? Okay. I plan on uh, skiing these very slowly, okay? Okay. I'm really emphasizing the final fifth, final eighth of my turn. That's a good exercise. Skiing the bumps really, really slowly. Ah, we can ski those forever. That's fun. That was that was really helpful to see, to watch uh, you make that final fifth of your turn and what it looks like to ski slowly well. Got it. Yeah. Okay, well let's see you tackle Jean's here. Okay, right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ski it. Uh, I'm gonna try to ski a little slower. Good. Harder. Yeah, it is harder. This is nice, Bridget. So steep, but such control. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, that felt totally smooth. Yeah. Yeah, well done. So that, so that felt 
edgier get instead it. of more turny. Okay. Um, did it look edgier? You know what? I was videoing on a <laughs> steep run. <laughs> you know, you can only ask so much of me. <laughs> it's good to know you have your limits. <laughs> um, initially, I was trying to kind of stay on top of the bumps, and then I, I couldn't really. Well, in a bump run, you do a little of everything. Can't be fixed with that line. Yeah. Mix and match. A couple turns over the top of a bump. Yeah. And then if you got a really short little stubby bump, you're going to make one little turn. So that's a sign of a, of a nice mulga run, you know. Okay. You're, you're able to mix up your turn shape. Okay, don't not, be fixed. Not fixed, that's right. Yeah. That felt playful. It was playful. Yeah. Nice, Bridget. Awesome. <laughs>